Hello YouTube and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by TypesProCombat.com So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own website without using a template Make your own website on Photoshop So basically what you want to do first is just use your photoshopping skills and just make something So for example I have this right here It says text pro combat, text part with an attitude And I have blank um blank things right here so I could put like home con uh, comments uh, blog uh, contact whatever stuff like that and then right here I could type whatever I want and then right here in the bottom I could put ads or type um, a copyright or anything like that so if you guys want this template I could email it to you or send it to you however you want and also I just made about 17 or yeah 17 other templates it they all look the same except with different um, stuff in the background and stuff like that so uh, if you guys want this or any of the ones that I'm about to show you just message me on YouTube and I'll be glad to email them to you or send them to you whatever you, way you want but if you want me to make you an original one like um, if you want me to make it however you want it and you want me to put all the writing and all the stuff for you and edit it out and set it out for, set it up for you that'll be only ten dollars and you could donate ten dollars at at my uh, website textprocombat.com just go to the home page scroll down click donate donate your amount and but before you do that make sure to contact me so I know you're about to donate and I know that it's you okay so I'm gonna show you the ones I just made there's the plain one oops okay there's the plain one right here there's this one it has a little grunge effect in the corner there's this one there's two grunge effects right here there's that one there's this one another grunge effect <clears throat> there's this one there's this effect in the corner I think it looks pretty cool there's this one I actually put the effect in this little box where you're supposed to type all your stuff there's this one it's a city effect in the background there's this one there's a city effect in the place that you're supposed to type there's this one there's just a bunch of birds and stuff in the place that you're supposed to type there's this one there's this pretty nice grunge effect it looks like a spider web or something but it looks pretty nice inside of the place you're supposed to type and there's this one on the outside there's this grunge effect inside the place you're supposed to type. There's this one on the outside or the background. There's this kind of sun, rising sun or something like that, just rays coming out from the background. There's this wings that I thought it gave it a pretty nice effect, wings. There's the Statue of Liberty and then a bigger Statue of Liberty in the background. Now remember, if you want one of these, I will send it to you without this thing right here at the top that says text pro on bad. I will delete that and let you put your own logo up there. But um, please, please, please leave the thing down here on the bottom where it says web templates made by textprocombad.com. Please, if you're going to use my web template, leave that up. Okay, so let's get started on uh, actually like making this into a website. So it just doesn't make it into a website just like that. So what you want to do is start to slice and dice, as I like to say. You want to slice and dice it. So hold up, let me just close all the rest of them so it doesn't lag as much. Okay, so... um. Once you're once you have your website all set up and like the way you want it like this, I rec I recommend by the way when you're making a new uh Photoshop document, make it 1000 by 1000 because it looks the best and it looks like proportionate proportionate to the Internet Explorer or whatever to your screen. It looks proportionate. So that's that's what I like to use 1000 by 1000, but it really matters up to you and your screen resolution and stuff like that. Okay, so once you have it up you want to slice and dice it so how you do that is click on the slicing tool which is right here <clears throat> once you have the slice tool up you want to slice everything that you want to be something individual for example I want the textbook on bad logo to be something individual so I want to slice it like that 
and just let go. And it, it you see this thing that it kind of slices it and it puts a border around it. So <clears throat> now what you want to do is click and hold on the slice tool and select the slice select tool. Once you did that, double click on the thing you just slice, which is the text book on my logo or whatever your logo is. And you could actually change the slice type to an image or a no image or a non image. So um, an image, the difference is an image takes faster or longer to load, but it looks better. And a non image, for example, if you want something to be text, then you would um, use a non image because then you, you put text in there. So you could change the name of it. I'm just going to leave it as the default and the URL. This is pretty important because you could actually start editing it right here in Photoshop to be a website instead of having to open it in Dreamweaver. Now, ultimately, ultimately in the end, you're going to have to open up Dreamweaver to make some final adjustments and stuff, but you could actually start editing it. So, for example, if someone clicks on the logo, I want the URL to go to my website. So, ACTP, coin slash slash, tech support, gone bad dot com. Okay, and you could put a target, a message tags, and an alt tag, and stuff like that. So, once you're done, press OK. <clears throat> so, the next thing I want to do is individually slice all these little buttons, all these little navigation buttons for the website. And I'm going to, after I'm done slicing them, I'm going to choose them and make them all images. Or actually, I could leave them as the default, which is an image. So just slice them individually. You could slice them all together, but it's just really up to you. Okay, and then I'm going to slice this thing on the bottom where I could display my, um, where I could display random stuff like ads, um, uh, copyright, stuff like that. And then last but not least, I'm going to, I'm going to slice this middle area, the main area, where you would put all the text. Okay, now that 